transition over to Bop Singh and Brian back over here on the ST30 LY across, right across from me. Yeah. <laughs> hey. Hey. Hey, Brian. Okay. So ST30 LY. Yep. We're gonna go from milling to turning. Yeah. Uh, talk a little bit about what you're making. Okay. Before I do, I'm um, just to let you know that has all the layers. About 80% of the time are running awesome. steel, so it's it's nothing new to us. We do it all the time over here. Mixed spindle shafts yeah, and so lace spindle I, shafts. I, yeah. I guess I should have done what I did to John, talk about your background. You've been at Haas for how long? Uh, 20 years, 15 years as a machine shop supervisor. Okay. Yeah. So you supervised the machine shop and you specialized in, in turning. Exactly, yeah. And so yeah. If, if anybody knows how much steel we turn here at Haas, it's this guy. Yeah, it's all steel for layers, so. Yep, okay. Okay, so we're running 4140. We're doing some simple turning, it's very simple. Uh, the blueprints come up on the screen. Yeah, you wanna Brent? look at the... I want me to change over the first yeah. tool? Or, okay. Yeah, let's go to the first tool. Um, simple, on the top left, it's showing the, the tooling path, real simple. And we're using a CNMG 433 insert. Now, the most common in, roughing insert in the world is probably the CNMG 432. Uh, we're just going a bigger radius, because I really want to push this insert, show it off. It's a HRH, which is a harsh, roughing, heavy insert, should I say. It might not be available yet online. Yeah, so, so, of, so on the website, you know, the, uh, the turning inserts yeah. and turning tools are just another page here on the Haas tooling uh, part of the website. But yeah, so I have, uh, this is a, an example of a similar insert. I think it's gonna be next week or something that the yeah. ones you're using are well, gonna be on Well, if it fails now, we might not even go on, you never know, so we'll see, <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> yeah, HRH, I'm really comfortable with it. It's awesome insert. Um, we only just got it in, so that's why it's not released yet. So we're gonna go with that and push this first tool we've got three okay. tools coming and you're, you want to do you want to talk about the loads first or you want to talk about them after um, yeah let's talk about okay so the depth of cut I'm going at um, if you look at the top right graph it shows the feed rate increasing the bottom scale is a feed rate increasing left to right and the depth of cut is increasing from bottom to top uh, the red ring shows that where where which where I'm cutting this and it's at the extreme end of this insert so we're right, you're a, definitely pushing this oh, hard. We're at 200,000 depth of cut, uh, probably 18,000 feed, and the spindle speed, uh, recommended for 4140, which is an alloy steel. Uh, the bottom graph shows it's 630. We're actually going to go with a low carbon. We're going to go with 850. So we're pushing this beyond. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you're pushing it really harder than, yeah, we're than pushing maybe it beyond, you're supposed yeah. to. But. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just to see some really good chunky chips, basically. So. Yep. Yeah. All right, let's All right, do it. So, let's do it. Um, let's, uh, Sal, you want to come in here? Before he starts, yeah. It. Before you press go, let's, yeah. yeah, let's get let's in close. Sure. We've got act, that action cam, but I think Sal's shot's going to be the best yes. here. Yeah, I so agree. six and an eighth inch diameter material. It's like I said, forty-one forty. The spindle load you can see is at one hundred and sixty-five. So it, really, you want to be at one one twenty to one forty, then you could run all day. We're just pushing it a little bit more just right, for this right. demonstration. Sal, I don't know if you can close in on the actual insert, but it should be glowing red. That's the heat dissipating from the insert, and it's and it's falling to the ground. So most of the energy is being absorbed by the chip or the swarf. Uh, I'd say 70% is the chip. I'd say 20% of the the heat is going to the insert, and about 10% to the part. So. Real nice, real juicy cuts. Nice popcorn sound coming out, sir. Just doing the final profile. The last pass is coming. Oh, 
Okay, so Sal, that took less than just over two minutes. Um, if you want to get out of the way, I'm going to open the door just to let Brian see. Now, if we open that up, there's a lot of heat there. But go ahead and touch the part. Trust me. Are you, are you setting it's, me? Is this a setup? <laughs> <laughs> nice and that, cool. It's nice and cool. Nice and cool. Yep. Most of the heat is down there on the insert. Material is kind of cool. So that's exactly what should happen. That's how it should go. So the next tool we're going to run is the DNMG. So Andrew, can you? Yeah, let's go to the next one here. So the next tool we're going to do is, is going to rough the profile, and that's a DNMG 433. It's the same HRH insert we got for the CNMG. I'm just removing these. Maybe we can give those away at the end of the Get year. those out of the way, just, <laughs> just for the demonstration. It's not good. If yeah. it's a real trade show, we, 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 yeah. someone would want to take People those home. People would be lined up. <laughs> Cut their hands on the way out. Yes. <laughs> yeah, the reason I'm using the DNMGs because we're doing a 30 thou relief and the DNMGs have got 32 degrees clearance, so we can plunge in there. We so can push still it again. fully doing a roughing pass. It's still roughing, relief, but I've backed right? it off a little bit because this is a 55 degree insert. So if you look at the graph on the top right, it is showing we're going about 160 thou depth of cut or 16 thou feed. The speed is actually above recommendation. It's at 850. So yeah, we're pushing this. You're pushing as well. this one about as hard as you did the first one, yeah, right? Yeah, the load's going to be less. We are going a little bit less on the depth of cut, so the load should be less. You want Sal to get in there? Yes, Sal, come on All in. Right. Let's get in here. It's what everybody wants to see. Same thing. Inserts glowing. First pass isn't as deep as the rest of them. So the next plunge, you'll see the insert really working, really doing its job. So we'll go ahead and run the final pass, which is going to be the finished profile. So there it is, it's just relieved the little diameter there. So we can go in with the finished tool, which is going to be our VBMT, which is the third tool and the final tool. It's just going to do the profile. Now usually you use a V and MG, which is a negative tool, but because I'm doing a profile and it's going to go around a radius and use the back of the insert, I'm going with the VBMT for, for chip control. So all right, cool. let's do it. Let's do it. Come back in, so making you go back and forth. <laughs> Constantly. Oh. Got a lock. I can smell the steel. Oh. The door's not locking. Hold on. I think we've put too many chips in there, mate. <laughs> You're not supposed to open it until the until the program's done, Bob. Yeah. There we go. That's going 1,200 RPM on the on the surface speed. Going around the profile, nice chips. Just going over the top, and that's it. Didn't touch the diameter, I think I changed my offset there, so, but not to worry. That's all done. Good finished part, and you can see it's, that finish insert is a little bit warmer because it's, the insert's not doing its job, it's not as hot as the roughers. Okay. So, but we can show you how. Those chips, they're those steaming. Chips, oh, yeah, they're, there's chunky chips right how do there. I know they're, how do I know they're hot, Bob? Yeah, well, let's turn the coolant on. Let's see what goes on here. So, you want to jump in here? You want to get this. This is how you know the chips are hot. <laughs> now they're steaming. Now if I actually stop that and open the door a little bit, you'll hear the actually, if you stay there, so you can hear them all sizzling and get in there. Good cheap, good, good inserts, good chips. All the heat's there where it should be. That's a great demo. Yeah. <laughs> Where's our mist extractor? <laughs> yes.
Cool. All right. Yeah. Thanks, Bob. Okay. Thank you. Cool. So now we're going to move on and, and take a look at some of uh, the tool testing data that you had that you, we uh, covered before. Yeah, right? that's right. So Bob's been in charge of testing for all the tools for HaasTooling.com on the turning side. John Nelson's done the milling side. So we're going to talk about, we got, we got a presentation up so you can talk a little yeah. bit about what your criteria was as you tested all these tools. Yeah, pretty much all the information John was doing, I was capturing the same style for the lathe. Um, so depth of coats, the speeds and feeds, what material were we using, what was the spindle load, what was the material removal rate. All that information was gathered for a lot of inserts that are on the website right now with lots of different materials. We tested stainless for the first time ever. That's the first time I've done that for a long time. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, because yeah. you don't cut yeah. very little stainless very here. Little, very little here. So stainless, cast iron, regular steel, high alloy steel, heat treat materials. We test a lot of inserts, and this is the data we came up with. Yeah, so we, you have tons of, tons of data points, of course. Oh, there's pages there's and pages uh, of D-print information that gets put into the USB, and then we just load all that information and save it all for future. And then if you continue, and what kind of chips we were getting, we record that information as well. Yeah, like in the case of this machine here, you were cutting like number these four. C's, yeah, right? Yeah, the C's, Fours. that was, that was good machine ability, so you get nice C cuts. I like the number twos and threes, I like a bit of a... Is that maybe because you're going a little bit extra hard here? Uh, the material's here? got good mach machine ability properties, so it did chip really well. And we were pushing it a little bit more than we should have been. <laughs> and also, every insert, we would check the corners, we would check the cratering, for what kind of wear we were getting what kind of finishes we were getting. We would save those chips. We've, cut, we've recorded all that information for most of those materials. Yeah, and you could, so you're looking oh, yeah. at a lot of these as they reach their failure point, it looks yeah, like. Yeah, failure points, comparing inserts, finding out like you know, that HRH was one of the best performing. And the one that's rated for steel was excellent on, on a stainless as well, so. Yeah, you were saying earlier that that particular HRH insert is just a really it's good, good versatile kind of insert, goes all over across yeah, the board, That'll right? help you with, it. if you're doing lots of different materials, but that's the insert to go with. Cool. So then steel finishes, all right. Well, I guess that's, that yeah. kind of wraps that up. Yeah, thank you. Thanks, that was an impressive demo. Thank you so much, Bob.